So in this video, I interviewed an hydroponic manufacturer in Ghana by, by the name Mr. Richard. Mr. Richard explained what hydroponic is, why hydroponic isn't doing so well in Africa, especially in Ghana. Also, the cost of investing in, uh, in, an, in an hydroponic farm, if it's something you are trying to invest in. And also, why you should also invest in an hydroponic system. So, meaning if you, if you, if you are looking at having um, a garden, but you don't have enough space in your, in your home or in your, in your compound, you can use hydroponic system. You can just put a, a bucket of hydroponic system or an hydroponic farm, uh, what is it called, set up in your veranda, in your passage, in your sitting room. And it's, the, it's going to do extremely well. So join me as I interview Mr. Richard, our notable hydroponic farmer from Ghana. Hydroponics actually comes from um, two Latin words, okay. hydro and ponos. Mm -hmm. So if you remember in your basic education, you were taught about um, what hydro is, mm -hmm. water, and ponos is labor, mm -hmm. meaning work. Mm -hmm. So um, to simplify it, let water do the work. Mm -hmm. That's hydroponics, you understand? So why water do the works? It simply means that we are replacing soil with rich um, nutrient solution or water mm. so you have water given to the plant but then there is food in the water that you are supplying the crops instead of the crops actually being on the soil and the root system looking for the nutrients they need to, to survive just as we human beings also look for food to survive mm. so basically hydroponics is growing crops without soil mm. with water but then rich nutrients water um, I, I think number one um, it's the issue of um, easy to change. Mm. Um, you know, naturally, pe people are reluctant to change mm. from something they call the tradition mm. to something they have to adapt to. Mm. And so that has been one of the major issues um, for hydroponics. Uh, what people feel, uh, why I have a land, um, why do I have to stop growing on the land mm. and then grow in something that I don't know about? Mm how safe it is for me mm. so people also look at food safety mm. right is it safe for me to eat from from hydroponics instead of really growing crops mm. in soil um, the other thing and i think whether or not it is all this backs down to um what what we can we can say it, it, it all comes down to the lack of proper education mm. you know a few people have been into hobby hydroponic um, practices, but then they have not been able to share the story mm. with others. Um, just like when you came around, a lot of people come around and when they see it, they're like, really? So this is actually working in Ghana. Mm. So I think for the lack of education, hydroponic has not been popular mm. in the country. Um, a lot of people think that a hydroponic it's difficult and it's too complex. Mm. Of course, if you don't have the basic knowledge, it will be difficult for you. Mm. And a lot of the practices, just like you mentioned before, uh, we see them in the West. Mm. And there were a lot of books, a lot of educational systems, um, training centers that help people who want to really go into hydroponics. Mm. And so, Coming to Ghana, a lot of people have tried hydroponics and have given up. Mm. Not because uh, they did not have the tools to go into hydroponics, but basically because we have not been able to differentiate between the West and our region. Mm. 
um, mostly the humidity, temperature levels, um, uh, like basically these things, you understand. And then especially uh, when it comes to electricity and then quality of water. So we have not been able to differentiate between we in the tropics, especially in Africa, and then those in the West, you understand. They, I'm sorry to say, but I mean, this, the, the systems over there really work for like, especially like water treatment systems. As compared to ours, you don't know, sometimes you actually open the tap and then you smell the chemical in the water. And naturally that is going to really pick up the pH level of your nutrient solution. And so if you're relying on it and then you don't differentiate it, then it means that your pH is going to go down or your crops are going to die. Again, looking at our system, even though we are dealing with hydroponics, we have also come up with an idea called mobiponics, mm. which is not 100% hydro like we're talking about. Mm. But then the ordinary person in the village can actually have it or let's say your home you, you don't want to deal with all this you can bring your mixture of um, potting soil put it in a similar system like hydroponics mm. if someone sees that from outside might be thinking it's a hydroponic system but it's actually a different system for ghana mm. uh, with a natural view and, and understanding is very expensive um, but over the period we have done so much to bring the cost down and we are still doing more mm. because um we also have to consider the the, the standard of living of the people mm. in the country mm. and so if we say oh it's expensive then who is going to come in for mm. then we are actually building hydroponics for a class of people which we don't want to mm. apart from and so um i would say it's it's expensive universally expensive mm. But in Ghana, we are doing more to bring the cost down. Mm. Number one, because we are reducing our dependency on imports, right? And then looking at how we're able to use local materials to produce, um, number one, the top-notch systems that when you look at it, you think that it's actually imported. Mm. Meanwhile, they are designed here. Mm. So that, I mean, everybody will be able to appreciate the, the story of hydroponics and the idea. So this is, um, this is called an NFT system, mm -hmm. a two-layer NFT system. Okay. So NFT is nutrient film technique. Okay. Right. Film because, you know, the, the traditional film we used to have, mm. when you want to take a picture, mm. you need to go buy a film mm. and then you put it in. When you stretch the film, it's a very thin layer, mm. a stretch of, let's say, um, plastic or so, mm. uh, designed in it to take the pictures mm. or the videos. Mm. And so, the idea is that the water that must be flowing in here mm. must be quite thin, mm. small, mm. so that there, there is enough room in the ch channel to provide enough oxygen mm. for the root system. Mm. Because the root system has what is called um, um, root hairs. Mm. The root hairs take oxygen and, and use the oxygen to support the plant mm. as it takes the nutrients and water. Mm. And so if we are submerging the whole root in water, it mm. means that there is no oxygen. Mm. That's why we call it NFT. The nutrient is filmed, mm. small, mm. passing through. Mm. So this is an NFT system, but it's a home NFT system. Mm. So that if I feel like I want to grow varieties of crops for myself, and I do not want to rely on, I mean, mm. uh, anywhere else I do not want to mention, then you can have the system with a shade there was a plastic shade also over there you cover and then you put it anywhere you want so you put in your crops and then you harvest and you replace as and when mm. so that's it it's a, a mobile garden mm. that's what we call it so a system like this is going to cost like how much uh a system like this is um okay so this is a non-circulating system mm. which is also called a passive system okay. meaning that if you do, if you are in a village or you live in um, an area where you do not have access to electricity, then you want to use the system. Mm. So that's 1,500. And then it's a garden that you're going to use as long as you want to use it. You can take your garden anywhere you want with you. Mm. Right. I see. All right. Um, is there anything else you would like to show us? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, so. Um, Okay, you can see these greenhouses okay, here. Okay. Okay. 
So what we are doing is that, I mean, we, we should have started by now, but because of the road, mm. the greenhouses had to move uh, back to this point for reinstallation. Mm. And then as we set up, we are building the place, because like you mentioned before, mm. why is hydroponic not popular in Ghana? Mm. It is the reason why the hydroponic association of Ghana, we are putting this together mm. and then to put up a training center here mm. so that people can come and train mm. in our greenhouses and then to learn more about hydroponics and greenhouse technology mm. because um, I cannot predict but then we all know that in few years to come mm. we are going to experience farming mm. now all most of our imports are being locked because of several wars happening we need to begin to think of how to produce food right here mm. if the sun is too high if the season change climate if there is a, a serious climate change and we don't know what to do mm. how do we still produce mm. and then the, the the best thing about hydroponics especially this system is that you save 95 percent water mm. right mm. and so um, so this is your system mm. and then i am an ordinary gardener mm. and so we grow the same amount of crops mm. if i'm supposed to use about um a thousand liter water for my crops to survive and harvest it means that you are just going to use 100 liters of water mm. for this one to survive mm. so that's the difference mm. Mm. Uh, 50 liters mm. right so you save 95 percent water and so there is there is no no excuse to say that well i didn't have water to uh, to feed my plants and all that and then because our climate is also with wild temperatures you also consume less nutrients you understand mm. but yes so um we are building up for a training center mm. and then it's also going to be a fabrication center where we are fabricating different kinds of mm. hydroponic system to suit every need mm. right you may not have a, an, enough space especially people who live on mm, story buildings mm. uh, you may not be able to have this one to put in your corridor mm. so we have an, an aeroponic system which is a straight tower system mm. up that you just put it once anybody can just pass and then you still grow your crops and uh, do you have samples there that we can see uh yes we have a sample okay, so let's, in let's, the let's have greenhouse. A okay so um this is an example of the aeroponic system so uh, as compared to what we have over there which is a stretch of a block that you have this is a, just a thin layer that can go all the way up there and then you grow all your crops on it right mm. so it saves you a lot of space right there mm. you know um so you have you have mint you have pak choy you have some beans you have cabbages uh you have um, sweet peppers tomatoes so grow everything at one end you know and then this is what we are setting up for the training um almost ready for what we're just about to do mm. uh, these ones are for also called the waking system mm. it's a waking hydroponic system mm. so this, this looks like um, rope or something. Yes, so it's a wick. Mm. So the idea is um, those times in the villages we, we use red lanterns. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Good. That's true. And so the rope will actually take mm. the kerosene mm -hmm. upwards for for um, the flame to keep up mm. and so it's the same technology we are applying mm, here I so see. that this one has to be in your mm. kitchen mm. you know you want you want to put this one in your kitchen our guy is uh, going in it so this one is just for the kitchen you want to grow a few leaf, leaf, leaves of um spices mm. so that we, i mean we just started a small mint here mm. you can see it right there yeah so a few just for kitchen you want to put on kitchen countertop mm. right so we, we want to be able to utilize um, all avenues for people to have options, mm. you know, so that I just want to put something on my kitchen top. So just put it right there mm. with a, a small design mm. and then they go for you. So this has been, we've been picking from it for a very long time. Mm. And you see that they are going down. Yeah. So the, the kind of water you have here, are they just normal water or they are nutrient water? Yes, so it's a normal water mm -hmm. which you just add plant nutrients mm. so you drop in the plant nutrients that's all it will keep up growing so this was a full it was full all the way here mm. so as the plants keeps growing and we keep picking mm. the water goes down mm. because the plants use the nutrients and then the water mm. right 
same as this one. So, okay, this one is a working system, right? Mm -hmm. You see mm -hmm. the room mm -hmm. here. This one is different. This one is a cracky system. Mm -hmm. So if you can see under, there are really no wicks mm -hmm. except for this one. Mm -hmm. So this one taps from the nutrients and then consume it. As it continues consuming, mm -hmm. the root system continues to grow. Mm -hmm. And so there was still enough space for oxygen. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. <laughs> okay, so this one utilizes a pump. Okay, yes, yeah, so it's a diaphragm pump. Um, usually, so the hydroponic, the aeroponic system, usually when you see it, the pump is inside. Mm. And then there is a rain of water, meaning a misting of water. Mm. So that's how it works. Please look at it. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's how it works. And so it's misting on the root zone. Mm. Then the roots will just take what they need. Mm. 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 And for five minutes in, mm -hmm. and then 10 minutes out. So mm -hmm. by the time it comes back, mm -hmm. the root system are just like they are moist mm. they are not dried out mm. they will miss them again yeah. wow. so these are the okay, yes so this is um, a vertical system mm. so the one you saw was a horizontal system yeah. this is a vertical system so you can go all the way up right mm. and so you can have a case of um, land for maybe cabbages or mm. lettuce mm. Mm. and then you might just come here you see me growing in this you're like oh come on but what are you doing i have mm. a big land mm. i don't count my crops the number of crops i'm growing here mm. as against yours mm. and you're surprised that i'm growing more than you're growing mm. I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true yes i'm growing more than you're growing mm. again i'm cutting down labor because there are no weeds here for me to to really be weeding mm. all the time mm -hmm. and i'm conserving mm -hmm. energy and uh, water mm. again this one triples so it goes three times faster mm. than growing in soil. Really? Yes. But do we, do we have any crop that may not be suitable for hydroponics? Oh yes, a, a lot of them. Uh, but I mean, te technology is an un unending adventure. Mm. And so um, as years go by, we develop new technologies to mm. suit every need. Mm. You understand? Mm. During those times, hydroponics was mainly for leaves. Mm. And so there was nothing more. Mm. Now we are growing um, uh, cucumbers, we are growing uh, peppers and all that. Um, and then you couldn't grow carrots, you mm. couldn't grow onions. Mm. But I, I have grown some carrots mm. also in the past, mm. you understand? Mm. So yes, there are crops um, currently with the technology you have, we say are not suitable for hydroponics. But then as time goes by, we also develop technologies mm. to cover those crops. Mm. Yes. So give it some more years, a couple of years to come, we'll mm. cover everywhere. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's where people are now growing bananas in hydroponics. In hydroponics? Yes. Wow.